Denver Bronco Shane Ray is coming together with the Denver Rescue Mission to help local families put their best foot forward. The linebacker donated hundreds of pairs of shoes this afternoon. Karen Morfitt was there for the event, joins us now tonight. And Karen, you learned that Shane's past is a big motivator for helping out these kids. Yeah, Karen, long before he was taking the field here at Mile High, he had to overcome his own struggles. He says he knows all too well how important something as simple as a pair of shoes can be. After two years of calling the rescue mission home, Kimberly Fenter and her son, Dijon, are on their own. I got my life together, I would say, and just graduated and got keys to my own apartment on April 1st. But it wasn't always easy. Fenter says being a single mother made everything a little more complicated. Something as simple as owning a new pair of shoes wasn't always an option. Sometimes you just don't have the money to buy brand new shoes or get shoes for your kids. So, I mean, it's very nice that they do this. She's talking about Shane's Shoes, a charity launched by Denver Broncos linebacker Shane Ray, who says he knows firsthand the struggle families like Fenter have to overcome. You know, it just means a lot to me. I can relate to these kids. I can relate you know, to the relationship he has with his mother, the same relationship I have with my mother. In addition to 500 pairs of shoes, Ray would teach the kids who call that shelter home a thing or two about competition and, more importantly, leave them with his own story about perseverance and beating the odds. It is just a blessing to come from, you know, where I was at and where we were and now be able to, you know, give back. They look up to these Bronco players. They want to be these Bronco players. And I think for them to take time out of their day to come here to the Denver Rescue Mission takes a lot. Things like that you just don't take for granted. Now, the dance-off was obviously a highlight for those kids, but Shane Ray did also make a call to one of his fellow players. He FaceTimed Von Miller so that those kids could say hi. We're live in Denver tonight. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Looked like a great day for everybody. Karen, thank you. The Longmont community